okay so uh, look at the first part of this question that is what are the acidic range and the alkaline range in the pH scale alkaline alkaline means what alkaline means uh, you can say this is what a basic range basically alkalines are water soluble bases okay so you can also say a basic basic range okay basic range all right so let me draw the scale okay and so this is what uh, scale and I'm just putting some value here so this is what is zero and uh, this one is what your uh, this one is what is seven just in between in the middle and this this is what your 14 okay so so th this is what a pH here it is what pH equals to what pH equals to zero here pH equals to what seven and here pH equals to what 14 okay now this is this is what your neutral solution if pH is 7 that that means you have what neutral solution that means you have what neutral solution okay and if you're moving from 7 towards 0 if you're moving from 7 towards 0 then in that case in uh, in that case your solution has become more and more acidic okay so that means this this uh, this is the reason uh, where your solution is what acidic where your solution is what acidic okay and and this this is the reason from 7 onwards to up to 14 the solution is what basic or or you can say that that is what alkaline okay you can say alkaline so basically uh, that means uh, for acidic range is what acidic acidic range means what acidic range means your pH should be what less than 7 your pH should be what less than 7 and and what about alkaline range so alkaline range is what alkaline range is what pH should be what greater than 7 greater than 7 and of course uh, up to less than 14 less than or equals to 14 okay and pH may be less than or equal to 14 and if pH equals to 7 that means your solution is what neutral solution your solution is what neutral solution okay now and one more thing th this particular scale was given by Sorensen this pH scale was given by scientist Soren Sorensen okay Soren Sorensen and the year was it was 1909 okay it, the year was 1909 and and uh, one more thing just uh, i'm giving you an additional information when you are moving from seven towards zero your acidic strength increases your acidic strength your acidic strength increases and when you're moving from when you're moving from seven to fourteen your basic strength your basic strength basic strength what increases okay now now come to the second question state one advantage of using pH paper pH paper for measuring the pH value of an unknown solution okay so what is the advantage actually the advantage is that you can calculate or you can you can get an information about the exact pH value of that unknown solution so so look at this pH paper first this this is what a pH paper okay so uh, wh what is the advantage actually the advantage is that the advantage of using this pH paper is that uh, you can get exact pH of exact pH value exact pH value of an unknown solution of an unknown solution okay so that is the advantage one advantage of what pH paper okay hope you understand